Good evening, everybody. I would like to share a story with you guys tonight about an encounter in a cave out in the Coachella Valley. A man and his family liked to go exploring out in the desert, and they came across a mud cave. Now, all over Southern California, there are various mines and mud caves around, and exploring them can be quite fun. So, this man and his nephew were exploring the cave. He stayed to the outside while his nephew went further in. And his nephew was going in and out of the cave, looking around, going through different corners, and then all of a sudden he spotted a bipedal creature, two eyes staring at him, crouched down. And when he saw it, he wasn't quite sure what it was, so he shined his brighter flashlight on it. And as soon as he did that, the creature took off, stood up on two legs, and ran deeper into the cave. He caught a glimpse of it, and he said the bottom part of the face looked red. And even though it was a humanoid or human-esque creature, he did not think it was human. To him, it looked more like a possible Sasquatch, some kind of a cave-dwelling creature in a very unlikely place, out in the desert with little water supply, with oppressive heat, oppressive cold in the winter time and it was certainly a very frightening experience he's been back to that cave a few times and hasn't seen anything since but it certainly makes it seem very intriguing and very creepy now not far from here near the Shiraco summit uh, he also uncovered some very strange tracks some elongated dog tracks and some other strange tracks and I'm not surprised by any of this the famous Yucca Man encounters that happened over by 29 Palms in the Palm Desert area, going towards the Coachella Valley and Palm Springs. Um, the Anza Borrego Sandman, the Zubies down in San Diego County towards the border. The deserts of Southern California seem to have a long history of seeing these strange creatures and strange tracks. I myself have seen strange lights out in the woods. I've spent time in the desert. And I've had creepy encounters, and I've felt like I've been watched. And a desert which can seem pretty benign, you know, kind of interesting, flat hard pan with some scrub, you turn the lights off and you're out in the desert at night, and it suddenly can become a very creepy place. Very, very dark, very disorienting. And uh, it's certainly a place of mystery. I believe this story, and I would love as an investigator to go out there sometime and do some filming uh, and I'm probably gonna try to do that if you like what you saw please give the video a thumbs up and uh, stay safe in the woods stay safe in the deserts and wherever you roam thank you